What's up everyone and welcome back to another episode of Japanese Munchies where I eat different snacks, sweets, and ice cream available here in Japan, give you a short explanation about them, and let you know what I think. Today we are here eating yukimi daifuku. So the word yukimi means snow viewing. And there's other words in Japanese, for example, hanami, which is cherry blossom viewing, and tsukimi, moon viewing. So those words uh, with the mi means viewing. And the other word, daifuku. Daifuku is a type of Japanese confectionery, traditional Japanese confectionery. And there are different varieties of it. There is yomogi daifuku, ichigo daifuku, mame daifuku, shio daifuku, ume daifuku, coffee daifuku, mont blanc daifuku, and pudding daifuku. So many daifuku. And the word daifuku literally means great luck. So here I have some snow viewing great luck. And the flavor that we are trying is kinako. So here it says kinako mochi. Kinako is this powdery substance. It is a soybean, roasted soybean flour. And it's very, very good. It's one of the things that they put on a lot of traditional Japanese sweets. And if you have been in Japan, maybe you have actually tried it. And this Yukimi Daifuku is from the company Lot. And there are two Yukimi Daifukus inside the package. And the package looks like this. Kind of looks like a face. All right, and here on the package, there is a cute little bunny here. Cute. All right, let's go ahead and open this thing up. All right, so here is the Yukimi Daifuku, and it comes with a plastic fork that you can just put on it, like this, boink. All right, let's bite into it, or you know what? First, let's give the camera a quick look at it. All right, so it is a type of mochi, and mochi means rice cake. So it's ice cream inside the mochi. And the regular flavor is usually vanilla. But again, this one is kinako. All right, I'm going to bite into it. Mmm. Ah, oh, kinako. You gotta try kinako. Pinaco is so good. I can't, I can't describe the flavor. Like, I can't compare it to anything because it's just pinaco. Um, but maybe if you go to your local Asian market in the U.S. or w whichever country you're watching from, if you have an Asian market, maybe they'll have pinaco flavor or powder. But here's the inside, and as you can see, it's kind of sticky. It's sticking to my fingers. It's a very soft consist consistency. And it's it's breaking apart. Oh, geez, I have to eat this soon. Hold on. Mmm. Oh, it's so good. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Kinako. So, I probably should have been using this. So I started eating the second one and I noticed that there is a lot of, um, I don't know if it's flour or cornstarch that gets all over the place. So when you do eat this, you want to be careful to uh, uh, have a mirror. Otherwise, you'll be looking like a crackhead with white stuff all over your lips. Um, but yeah, it's still very good. I love this so much. Uh, I've seen other flavors like cookies and cream, and um, they had this one where it was like a liquidy, was it caramel? I think it was caramel. But yeah, it was. Oh, this stuff is so good. So when you do come out here to Japan, make sure you get uh, yours. Make sure you get Yukimi Daifuku. And again, it is by lot. 
All right, I am going to enjoy the rest of this thing before it melts in my hands. Uh, thank you for watching, and hopefully you can get your hands on some. Maybe they have some in the country that you're from. Go check it out at your Asian market. All right, guys, everyone, thanks for watching, and peace.